Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Today, my friends, we're going to start off by taming another otter. In the last episode, we took on and defeated the first underwater cave of this series, but we were only able to pick up one artifact. And usually, as per the rest of the series, what I do is I go for five of the same artifact. So if I wind up failing a boss, then I could just get right back to trying it again with a different set of artifacts. So uh, yeah, we're going to start off by going for an otter and that means going ahead and grabbing ourselves some giant bee honey because we can use that to lure the otters and then use the spear to grab some fish and it's the dead fish corpse which you then feed to the otter to tame it. So, yeah, should be a good time. So, my friends, I do want to start off by saying, though, a huge massive thank you for all of the wonderful support and especially your patience as of late. It has definitely dropped off in terms of consistency, and that's because I've been dealing with a fair amount of burnout. But rest assured, my friends, we're slowly but surely getting there with getting back to content across all of my channels. So, again, I just want to say... Thank you so much for your support, my friends. Of course, if you want to continue supporting this series and you want to continue seeing more, then please do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like. And if you want to go one further, of course, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs. So, into my fridge we go. We've got ourselves some bee honey right here. And as you can see, we basically have 10 minutes to try and find ourselves an otter and try to tame it. So, that means whipping out Speedy here... And seeing if we can get lucky. I wonder if we can get lucky with trying to find ourselves an otter in the same place as before. Uh, somewhere along this river, I made a little bit of a hut. Yeah, there we have it. Uh-huh. I wonder if there are going to be any otters circling around this place. Oh, cool. Guys, check it out. There's a level 80 otter here. Uh, the only thing is, it's a little bit of a distance away from our little hut here. I have no idea what the radius of this giant bee honey is actually going to be. So, I mean, all we can do is give it a bit of a go, okay? So, we'll uh, chuck this in here. There we have it. Uh, then we see if the otter comes over? I don't know. I mean, just wait and find out. Wait, how much uh, durability does this thing have? Uh, seven minutes. Oh, no, 23 seconds. Oh, no. Well, that's not good, is it? I wonder if we could just do this the old-fashioned way. I've got a fish right here, and the otter, yeah, it just seems to be circling over here. How strange. All right, uh... Huh. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Very cool. All right, this one's going to be called Owen. Brilliant! Oh, fantastic. So with that little odd job done and dusted, what it means is we can actually take our basilosaur and get back down to that cave system and see if we can't pick up some more of those artifacts in the underwater cave. Okay, we need four of them and then we will be good to go. And then, of course, after the underwater cave, there is one more cave to be had. And then we have all of the artifacts needed for the Megapithecus monkey boss, which is pretty cool. So yeah, four more of those artifacts and we... We will be on to a winner, my friendos. So, uh, yeah, let's just grab back out our basilosaur and let's do this thing. I'm hoping that the cave dudes haven't respawned. If they have, then uh, we could be in for a bit of a rough time. Hey, let's not forget, of course, we've got ourselves the Rex Bone Helmet for your boy Owen. Yeah, let's go ahead and put you on there. Wait, no, hang on. That's the wrong one. That's the one. Yeah, 150 armor value near as damn it. Hey, <laughs> should help keep our otter alive. Whoa, random side note. Look at the amount of trillo bites around here, dude. Oh, this is great. We can get black pearls from these guys. And the reason you want black pearls is apparently you can use them to tame the Tussos, the uh, giant octopus squid dudes. Uh, so, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to get ourselves a bit of a supply of all of that. Uh, wow, you really don't get many black pearls, do you? Good grief. I just realized we never actually gave our basilosaur a name. There you go, Bella. That is your name. All right, Bella, back into the cave. We're getting four artifacts of the boot. Oh, hang on a minute. Ah, uh, just might be possible that dudes have respawned in here. All right, never mind. We're doing like 300 damage to folks, so shouldn't be too difficult of a thing to do. 
Ah, oh, jeez. All right, let's just take these poor suckers down. Hey, guys, how about this then? 45,000 health. I mean, I think 50,000 health on my Basilosaur here would probably be a decent goal to go for. But I'm realizing here that I think my hypothesis from the last episode is actually false. Maybe it's because I'm, like, sort of down low in the world that I'm not regenning at the same rate as I was when I was sort of up at the surface of the ocean, right? Like, we were regening like, 20 units per time before, but now it's only, like, five-ish. The shark really isn't very bright, is it? Why would you get yourself beached, you blithering idiot? <laughs> ah, ammonite bile. Interesting. I have just killed an ammonite, and there it is. Oh, hey, 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 son of a... Freaking saber-toothed salmon's trying to kill me now. What a bunch of poo! Anyway, yeah, check this out. I think this is the first ever time I've managed to grab this stuff. Ammonite bile can be used for medicinal purposes when carefully prepared. Ooh. Hang on a minute. There's something glimmering in there. Is that black pearls? Ah, Nope. Still silica pearls. I just got debated, man. I thought they would be, like, properly nice and hidden and such. Oh, really? Ah, darn it. All right, come on. No more dilly-dallying. Let's get these artifacts, shall we? I must admit, there is a pretty significant part of me that wants to see if I could try to tame the uh, the Mosasaur that's been sort of hanging around here. I think that could be an interesting idea, at the very least, right? Uh, anyways, for now, we do seem to have ourselves a small army on us. Um, but never mind, we're getting literally ten times feet here. <laughs> Oh, the pony knows no bounds. Oh, God, they're actually doing some damage to me here. Bloody hell, how many saber-toothed salmons are there? I'm actually going to wipe out the entire saber-toothed salmon population from this entire world at this rate. Good God! Well, now that we're finally done taking down small armies of underwater creatures, we can now safely hang around this place and just sort of wait for the artifact of the brute to respawn. And probably the easiest way to do this would be to maybe get ourselves up to the surface over there, chuck the otter down, put the artifact on the otter, and be on our merry way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so up we go. Off you go. And here you go. Boof. Yeah. Hang on a minute. I spy with my little eye a yellow crate. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Okay, that's the second highest tier of loot crate we could get. So let's get our little butts up there. Let's see what we freaking got. I mean, it would be amazing if we could find ourselves our first ever red uh, cave crate of the series. That'd be amazing. Ooh, an Ankylo saddle and an Ichthy saddle. 177 and 151 armor value, respectively. Hey, the good news is we have an Ankylo, so we can put that saddle right on him. <laughs> Level 270 Ammonite. So it doesn't appear to be a passive tame. Huh. I'm not even entirely sure that you can tame these guys in the caves here. I mean, if you could at level 270, imagine the taming effectiveness. It would bring it up to level 400, wouldn't it? I mean, are there any benefits to taming ammonites? I don't really know. Ladies and gentlemen, there are few sites that are more beautiful than this. Not only do we have ourselves our final artifact of the brute right there, but that appears to be a Red Sea cave crate. <laughs> All right, well, let's start off by getting ourselves this beautiful bad boy. Very nice. And then, uh, yeah, okay, this definitely is red as well. Holy crappers. All right, fingers crossed for good stuff. What do we got? What do we got? We got a Dodecura saddle and a Pelagornis saddle. Uh, I mean, the Dodecura saddle, that's actually pretty appreciated because we don't have a Dodecura yet. The reason you tame one of those is because they can carry an insane amount of stone. So, yeah. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. We are now officially done with this cave here. And I must say, I am feeling pretty dang accomplished right now. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Alrighty, so again, to confirm to ourselves that the depth is what is preventing us from being able to regen real quick. 
So yeah, we're sort of down in the depths here. We are regening, what, three to five units of health, even despite being at the surface of the water here. So if we go back up to the actual surface of the water, you know, where the sea meets the land, then yeah, there we go. Maximized health regen. It's just insane, man. All you need to do to regen a basilosaur real quick, like, is get it up to the surface of the water. Alrighty, so we're back at base. All that's left to be done is to put Bella inside of a cryopod. And in the cryo fridge, we will take all of the meat that she had and we'll probably put it in the feeding trough. Because I feel like we're long overdue a little bit of base maintenance, my friendos. We need to put stuffs in the feeding troughs. We need to do various bits of bobs around the base. Maybe it's high time we finally make a friggin' bridge. Okay. Over the river. <laughs> We're what, 43, 44 episodes into this and we still haven't bleeding done that yet? But there we are. The Ascendant Collection grows. <laughs> In fact, to be honest, that's not even all of the Ascendant stuff. There's probably stuff all over the place that we can sort of collate together. And then we can see what kind of a supply we really have. But anyways, like I said, first of all, let's go ahead and put some meatsy doodles inside of the feeding trough of epicness. A few bits of fish for the Megatherium army as well. Let's put all of the trophies and artifacts away next. So here we go, my friends. All of the various ascendant bits and bobs that we've managed to obtain in this series so far. That is, of of course, not including the stuff that we may have on our person right now. We've got the ghillie boots. We've got the sickle here as well. Yeah, this is a rather healthy looking collection, isn't it? Oh, we've got two Pelagorna saddles. Right, I'm going to take the lesser armor value one. And I am going to grind it. Grind all items. Whoa! 100 metal ingots! Alrighty, we've got a choice. We can explore the final cave needed for the Megapithecus monkey boss, or we could make the bridge. You know what? I think we should have a dedicated base building episode in the next couple of episodes or so. So, maybe we carry on with the cave theme. Alrighty, my friends. So, according to the wiki, it's actually the cave that's on Dead Island that we need to go to for the artifact of the Devourer. That is the final artifact we are needing in order to have the ability to summon in the Megapithecus monkey boss. So, you know what that means, don't you? We are going to bring out our Baryonyx again, and we're going to have ourselves a mighty dang fine time, aren't we? <laughs> this should be Fairly simple, at least I hope so anyway. Our Baryonyx is rather marvellous at the end of the day, is he not? Look at it, 10,000 health over 1,100% melee damage. It's ridiculous. Man, I forgot how nice it is to be able to fly across the world this frigging quick, dude. <laughs> oh, speedy. You really are like the MVP of the series. Like being able to get around this quick is just... Fantastic. Mwah. Holy crappers, there's a red loot beam here. Do we go for it? Do we go for it? We're already going for it. If it despawns in front of my very eyes, I'm going to be pretty upset. Come on, fellas. Come on. Let it be a ringed one as well. That'd be rather special, wouldn't it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it's a regular one. Okay, no matter. No matter. It's still a red one. Oh, God, we need to be quick on looting that one. It was about to run out. Okay, that's pretty cool. The only thing is, do we not already have a Megatherium Saddle Blueprint that we were using for our Megatherium army before? Or was that Rex's? I think we've got a Rex Saddle. I can't remember if we've got a Megatherium Saddle. If we don't, and we now do, that's pretty amazing. All right, so welcome back to Dead Island, my friends. The cave entrance is, of course, around the back of the island. So we will get ourselves over there and start exploring this cave. We're going to do a little bit of a swapsy in terms of the cryopods. We're going to put the Tyranodon in a cryopod and on cryopod the beautiful dude that is Barry. All right, so the cave entrance is literally right there. Uh-huh. Right. Can we do this without getting horrifically destroyed? I certainly hope so. All right, let's do it. Boom. On cryopod. Boom. Get cryopodded, son. Oh, I'm expected to be happened upon by a freaking army of saber tooths. Please don't. Uh, oh, that's what you had. Just a few bits of meat. Huh. All right. Uh, we need some fishy doodles. All right, my friends. So let's explore this cave system, shall we? Now, if I remember correctly, I have actually explored this one before. And it turned out to be basically a giant ravine, I think. 
We do seem to have the cold effect about us. Uh, right. Let's see what happens. Oh, gee whiz. Uh, not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, maybe up here. That would make sense, yes? <gasps> oh, 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 that's a lot of guys! Oh my god! That's a lot of dudes! Holy god! Um, sure. Well, at least we're being rewarded with a cave crate straight off the rip. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Very nice. So, what we need to try and do is get ourselves way down the bottom, my friends. Probably one of the best ways to do this cave is to just grab yourself, like, uh, grappling hooks and just sort of, I don't know, abseil all your way down there. Anyway, no matter. Uh, let's open up this crate. We have ourselves fur gauntlets. Hey! That's pretty good. All right, so then, let's start to navigate this cave. Oh, there's a dung beetle there. Oh, it got wrecked. Okay, no matter. Uh, can I jump this? Huh! Yep, just about. Hello! Hello, hello, and hello. How's it going? Level 100, eh? What an embarrassment you are there, sir. Right! Look at the amount of onyx around here. Jeez! <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, come on then. Come on, come on. Okay, so far this is easy street, but I am fully expecting to come across a rather difficult jump. Uh, we could jump across there. Oh man, there's like places everywhere that we could try and jump to, huh? We've got a little onyx just sort of stuck in the wall there. That's interesting. Uh, got some Aranios and Pulmonos, pretty much. This is just a sort of standard cave, isn't it? Standard kind of cave dudes. So actually, you know, I mean, as long as we don't fall down to our deaths, this shouldn't actually be overly difficult to take care of, my friends. In fact, there's the artifact down there. I wonder if I was to pick up the poopsie doodles here. Uh, can I poop myself? Uh, no. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, if I was to pick up the poop myself... I wonder if I would be able to tame myself one of the uh, slightly, potentially higher end dung beetles if we manage to find one. Oh my goodness me, that was dangerous. That's a hell of a jump, that one. Good grief. All right, uh, wait for the movement debuff to go away and then we can jump that one. All right, we've got ourselves another dung beetle here. What level are you, sir? Level 55. To be honest, it's kind of tempting to go for it for the simple fact that we'll be able to have ourselves double the speed of, uh, you know, fertilizer production. Boom. Yeah, cool. All right, uh, ah. Yes, problem. I don't have enough cryopods. Ah, crap. What am I supposed to do here? Can I just pick him up? No, I don't think I could pick him up on account of the fact that I've got this dude on me. Yeah, now I can pick it up. Ah, oh, that is poopy. That's not very good now, is it? Anyways, uh, back to the ponage, my friendos. I can see an explorer note to my left, which is, to be honest, mostly going to be useless. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Could be worth going for it. Maybe I could come back to this game in the future if I need to level something up or something. I don't know. All I know is I want to get the artifact. Oh, man, there's two dung beetles around here. If one of these is a higher level than the other one that we just tamed, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. Uh, right, where was the other one? It was, like, just here, wasn't it? Uh, oh, good sweet lord. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, that, okay, there's a spider in amongst that. That's that's just great, isn't it? That's just great. Oh, it was only level 20. Huh, okay. Right, no matter. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done here. So, let's chuck you off. Let's grab our artifact here, artifact of the uh, devourer, and let's put it straight on this guy. And for some weird reason, it respawns like literally immediately. I've always found that a little bit strange, but no matter. I don't mind it one bit. We need to get three more, and we've got our typical set of five that we normally go for. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at long last, we're about to pick up our final artifact here. Artifact of the Devourer number five. The final one. Right, I really don't have any way of getting this dung beetle out of here right now, so... We're gonna have to leave him here for now? Maybe I'll come back in the future we try and cry upon it? I really should always travel with a spare cryopod, huh? Normally I do, but for some reason unknown to man, I put it away. Like an income poop. All right. Well, uh, now we need to try to escape this place with our lives intact. So, uh, 
Yes. This may be easier said than done. Going down is easy, but what about going up? I mean, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? I mean, so far, so good. Not really coming across anything too difficult so far. Got to jump here. Making that nice and easy. Uh, right, can I get through here? Yep, that was a bit narrow, but we still managed to get through. Nice and easy, like. Uh, let's get ourselves up hither. Jump there. Nice and easy. Uh, oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Right, where's the exit? Oh, is it up that way? I think it might be. All right, can we jump this? <laughs> yeah. Easy street. Okay, we've got another jump. Okay, just about making that. Another jump. And... Oh, that's it. <laughs> wow, that was actually really easy. All right, let's see if we can't get ourselves out of here. Nice and safe-like. Uh, the exit is here. Oh, it just so happens that it's nighttime. Okay, cool. Right, uh, you have a bunch of fish on you. That's totally fine. Let's make sure there's no hostiles around here. And let's get this thing on the way, I guess. All right. Let's go home, my friends, with our heads held high again. Two successful adventures today, eh? Very cool. All right, so very good. We've got ourselves our second bit of fur armor of a quality higher than default. So that's pretty cool. We've got Ascendant right there. We've got Journeyman right there. Not bad, eh? All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, on that successful note, it is indeed time to wrap up the episode. But of course, we will do the comment of the day before doing that. And for today, that comes from Cindy, who says, Good job, Python. I'm loving the series. If you want to make your oxygen tanks last longer, make Lazarus chowder. It decreases oxygen consumption. Hey, appreciate the heads up. I do believe that in here I actually have the recipe for the Lazarus chowder. Yes. Uh, yep, there it is. Uh, three servings of cooked meat. We need Savo root, long grass, Mijo berries, narcotics. What? I can make that incredibly easily. In fact, wait, do I not already have some Lazarus chowder? No, I don't. Okay, well, yeah. Maybe when it comes to uh, exploring further sea caves in the future, we will go ahead and put that into action. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for letting me know about that. I do appreciate it. And uh, tell you what else I appreciate as well, all of you folks for watching today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like if you haven't already. I'd very much appreciate it. It helps get this series out there. It helps out myself, the channel, and the video hugely. Of course, subscribe if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.